Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on those paper pumpkin alternative videos to share with you. I am so happy I have this opportunity to do so. So 2024's paper pumpkin alternative number seven for May called The Best There Is. Set the whiteboard where it belongs so I don't lose it. This is a look at the stamps set that came with it. With love and admiration to the most amazing person, you're the best. There is Happy Father's Day to you in the trees. And then this is a look. Sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth because my coughing is getting really awful. So these wonderful envelopes, I'll give you a close-up look. Three of these cards, three of these, three of these. On the back, there is a QR code for video help showing you how to assemble the cards as they were designed. Right here is a QR code that will leave you to the thanks and beyond eyes, which we are going to be using the thanks for this card. A visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors. So I will tell you, I'm using, let me just show you. So. I am going to be using this half of this card, of this um, <clears throat> card base for this card. And in video number eight, I'll be using this half that I cut the thanks out of. This thanks is going to be going on to this card. And then we'll have a blank space, which I will show you why I'm showing you this in just a second. I, I, oh, I might be confusing, but I'm trying not to be. Okay, we're going to use an envelope as an envelope because there are so many. Um, I have a Misty Moonlight card base. Oops, I have an extra one that goes for the next card. This is four by five and a quarter of white. For the inside, the Misty Moonlight is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're using the Mountain and Trees part, and we're going to divide this in threes. We'll probably have to take off like an eighth of an inch to do that. Um, and then once again, the Thanks and <clears throat> Beyond dies. I was going to make this a two-part video, but then I decided not to because I might need to go run and get another cough drop. So, first thing I did is I placed the thanks here. You can see it down there, right? Right here. I placed this on the part of this card base where it had that nice uh, white this white line running through it. Hopefully it's not too crooked because I need this for the next one. And then I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to pull this off here. Now what I need to stay behind, let me hold it up to make this work for the next card, are these little bits here that need to go in where the T is, where the A is, and what is the other little one for? Oh, in between, there's a little spot here in the A and a little spot here between the A and the N. I need these pieces for project number nine. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm hopefully, nothing's going to happen to it. But I really wanted to get, you see how it has all that white lines through it? I wanted this is gonna go over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this apart. <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a little crease so it'll lay on the cutting edge of my guillotine right at four and a quarter. Oh, no, it needs to be at four. It needs to be four by five and a quarter. All right. So four. And I want it taken off of the top. Four by five and a quarter. a quarter of an inch. Now this little strip can go on the inside of our card. So we have that. This is going to go right back over. <coughs> Excuse me. There. Um, I do want to tell you. Okay. I saw a doctor yesterday uh, for the cough because I feel like I'm being torn apart from the inside when I cough. Um, they now do not think that it's acid reflux. I have, they're sending me to a pulmonary specialist, a lung specialist, and another general surgeon. So it's a hurry up and wait. And basically they told me there's nothing they can give me 
keep sucking down the cough drops, which I absolutely cannot stand. There's not a cough drop out there I haven't tried. Like, three years of this, and this is what I'm left with. <coughs> so, I have a horrible cough, and there's nothing they can do about it. So, that's my life as it stands. So, this piece is done. That's going to go there. The thanks is done. What I want to do is I want to cut these strips. I want to cut one and what did I figure? Hold on. Let me look at this again. So it's three and a half. So hmm, I have to look down here. Sorry, guys. So one, two, three, and then I'm left with a half. So I'm doing eighths of an inch. So I'm going to be cutting this down to one and one eighth. So three and a half to two and a half is one and then one eighth. So there's my first cut chop. So I'm at two and one eighth, right? Oh, two and three eighths. So I need to go to one and three eighths, which is right here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Let me just put it in here upside down and do this this way. One and yeah, I'm just going to turn it now upside down and do it at one and one eighth. Like I said, I'm probably going to be left with a tiny little scrap <clears throat> and then one more. Yes, I was right. I have like an eighth of an inch, which is left over, and I can't really do much with that. But I have the three strips that I want. So you can see how those go together. Da -da. So it's at one and one eighth, and I just cut it three times. First thing I'm going to do is put these strips... <clears throat> Oh, that my jacket is just getting on to things. So there's one. We're just gluing them onto here with a bit of space. So you get to see that glorious blue. Oops. Let's put them in the right order. I just want a space between them. So as soon as I figure out the right space, I should have warmed up the glue, but I didn't. So we'll take it as we have it. First, I'm going to do the left side, then I'm going to do the right, and then I will glue the center piece. That's the easiest way for me to do this. So. There's one. Now what I'm going to try to do is do roughly the same, I just want it over a tiny bit more, same amount top and bottom into the side as this one. All right. That looks really good. And then this one will go in the center of them. And then our thanks is going to get glued. <clears throat> Again. Oh, you guys are going to laugh. So little, little Hank, little Hank ain't so little. He is built like a Mack truck, a tank. We call him Hank the Tank. So... Anyways, Hank, my hubby, and our neighbor are all going oyster hunting again. I mean, the, the these guys and the oysters are crazy. But Hank this morning, as they're getting ready to go and leave, Hank's like, oh, Papa, escargot. My husband's like, Hank, leave the snails alone. He's like, And Hank's like, but Papa, snails are good, just like oysters. My husband's like, no, we're not escargot hunting today. <clears throat> so look at that. Very simple. Yes, I'm making it flat. I just want to make sure because it's really cold right now. 
the sun is out, but it is cold. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. And then it does look really pretty, I think, on the misty moonlight. I'll show you what it would look like on a white card base, as I did think of having it. Let's see. Misty moonlight. I don't know. I like the white, so we're going to change that. <laughs> and this card is going to be four and a quarter by 11, but you guys are, are good with that. <clears throat> I like it better on the white. Uh, and this happens to be a thick white card base. It was just out and about. And so it's being loved. It's being used. And then we'll stamp something on the inside. I'm surprised I changed it. I originally thought about the white and then I thought, no, we're going to do the misty moonlight because it looked good. But once I put this up there it looks better on the white. Now I wish that I had like white. Do I have any white? <clears throat> I have those pale blues, but I have these. No, because they'll get the bulky, bulky, bulkiness and we're not doing that with this card. All right, so let's see. What are we going to stamp on the inside? Stamp in Pierce Matt. My little... My active tray was, oh, because it has other things in it. I know I got them. I had them messed around. This was my active project stamps. All right. <clears throat> this one, we have, what are we going to, that's a little bit of card. You're the best there is. With love, thanks. With love and admiration to the most amazing person. We're going to stick this on the inside. That's what we're going to go for. And it's going to be in Misty Moonlight. Open this up. Oh, and where's our little strip? The little strip. Remember I said, oh, we could use that. Have I lost it now? I know I didn't put it. Oh, it just looks like a white strip. That is just going to frame the bottom. Let's get that down. If I can use something instead of wasting it, makes me feel a whole lot better. All right, and then we'll put the You're the Best There Is on the um, envelope. And we're going to do the trees. I think we're all going to stamp it all in Misty Moonlight. So, with love and admiration to the most amazing person. And a course, where did that come from? I don't see ink. Oh, it's right there. It's always something. Basically, this is just eating my paper away. We'll just leave it. Envelope, because we are using this as the envelope. And I said, we're going to use the trees. I'm going to stick that there so I don't lose it. In Misty Moonlight. Why not? Ooh. And you're the best there is. On the front. And guys, our card is done, done, and done. That's quick. Pretty simple, huh? But I think it has a big impact, just cutting it apart. Really simple to do. So I'm going to say thank you guys so much for letting me share this with you. And I'm so glad I'm not like hacking my lungs out right now. <coughs> of course, as I say that, I start. I'm going to go grab another cough drop and then I'm going to record the next video, but I would ask that if you are not subscribed, if you would consider subscribing, it would help me out tremendously. And um, I would love to reach 100 comments on at least one video for Paper Pumpkin. So if you think you have time to leave me a comment and let me know what you think, please do so. Um, I do answer them. It is the highlight of my day. It truly is. 
and I appreciate each and every one of you that take the time, even if you don't take the time, I appreciate you watching and your support for this channel. So thanks so much for watching and please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.